Hello friends, may peace and harmony fill our being as we listen to God's invitation for us today. I am Sister Rosalie for the Gospel Power of Today. After getting into a boat, Jesus crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then, some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. Then some of the scribes said to themselves, This man is blaspheming. But Jesus, Perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. And he stood up and went to his home. When the crowd saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. Sin and Paralysis Only Jesus sees the close connection between the man's physical immobility and a disordered state of his heart. Although everyone expects Jesus to cure the man's paralysis, what he offers him is forgiveness of sins. For Jesus, the man's sinfulness is the more serious matter, and by dealing with it first, the physical healing will take its natural course, without needing any additional intervention. In fact, Jesus turns his attention to the man's paralysis only to let the scribes know that he whom they accuse interiorly of blaspheming has power to heal to both interior disorder and the heart and the exterior unwellness of the body. This episode invites us to look more closely at a very important reality that we often take for granted, that from God's perspective, the real tragedy, the one that begets other tragedies, is human sinfulness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Help us to be attentive to the body-spirit connection and to see that avoiding sin is a way of staying physically healthy too. Amen.